about but Cat Williams led a lot of stuff fly. But that's what that what the lesson is. Quit picking with people. Leave that man alone. He wasn't bothering nobody. He out here making his money the best way he knew how for himself. One thing that I do love about him is that he believes in investing in his in himself. I think the very first show that he put on, he put up his own money to get things started. And he's what well, he said he was on his 19th 100 city tour. I think that's what he said. Yeah, shout out. That's big. That's huge. And he don't do a whole lot of promo. But people know when they when he coming and they sell out them shows each and every time. They like to see and hear what Cat has to say. He was funny, but he also dropped a few a few affirmations that have gone viral on social media. So when he talked, one of them was, I'm the architect of my own destiny, and right now I'm drawing a masterpiece. I know that's right. I love it. Yeah, and then what he said, he said, I'm not just living life. I'm the lead actor in the blockbuster called My Life. And that's what's up. He says some great thing. He said, Melanin is my currency, and I'm investing it wisely for an epic return. I thought that I know cool. that's right. That's it. That's it. And that's the whole thing. And he said, I'm not just chasing dreams. I'm setting them up on a date and making them fall in love with me. I know that's right. He reminded people, too, when he said, I'm like I one in the world of comedy. I only get better with time. So he's telling people that he's not done. Exactly. Exactly. And I love it. Hey, but he he has some really great teachers. Uh, Mark Curry helped Cat Williams out a lot in the beginning. He definitely, him and Bernie Mac, they were like kindred spirits in the comedy game. He has a lot of respect for D.O. Uh Dave Chappelle, among some others. But this comedy is not for the faint of heart. I'll tell anybody, it's a hard business. It's grimy. It can be dirty. It's a lot of kiss assness. If you deal with corporate America, then you're familiar. So there's a lot that goes on. But for a person to come in and stand on what they believe in, their morals, their principles, their scruples, their values, and not waver from it, that says a lot and still have a great career. And I think it's not him wanting to be like, he doesn't want to be like this filthy rich person. He wants to be comfortable. And I think the biggest thing, the biggest act of kindness, that I've seen him display is that outside of the children that he's had physically, that he adopted seven children. What black male do you know on this planet that who would even think about doing that? And that just says a lot about his character to me. So again, definitely big shout out to Cat Williams and keep shining up, brother, and, and pop your collar. They don't say what you're going to do if you know what they want. Regardless, keep hustling. I mean, he had quite the life. He and the the great thing about the interview was that it was funny, but it was also insightful about life in general. When he talked about the fact that he's had some trials, he's been to jail a few times, oh. and he also adopted kids. Like he said, his life is just really broad and expansive in the things that he's done. And just the fact that out of the interview, people laugh, but the fact that they made a list of affirmations from his whole interview, I think that said a lot, and that tells you why the interview has gotten millions of views. Yeah. One of the affirmations when he said that was really cool, he said, in the dictionary of life, my picture is right there next to resilience and hustle. I know that's right. That is, that is profound. And he talked about life throws curveballs, but I'm a pro hitter. I swing, miss, but when I hit, it's a home run. Yeah, I and I think that. those are things that everybody can take and put up on your wall and live by. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's the thing. And you're dealing with somebody whose IQ is very high too. So you got to think about it. He reads. He's an avid reader. He left out. He struck out on his own. But he also talked in another interview that I actually saw him with, with another moderator. He had a very interesting upbringing, but not just from the religious aspect, from the hustle aspect. So he had the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? He had the, his father and his mother were definitely very religious individuals. But some of his people were the biggest names in the game in Ohio, where he's from. He had a lot of hustle, so he's seen a lot. And he was around a lot. So he had the, a balance, I'm going to say, of both. So I think that's why he was able to go out and, and make things happen, because he had this that hustler mentality, even at a young age, especially he even said out his own mouth, 
the age that he was when he left home. It's a lot. It's a lot to to take in. It's definitely one of the interview for the ages. He's definitely started out January with chip pain. <laughs> and I love it. And I love that people scrambling and, and 